Health registered dietitian Sandra Reese joins us here in the kitchen with a diabetic friendly recipe that the entire family will enjoy. Cauliflower baked ziti is on today's menu here on News Channel 11 and ABC Tri Cities at noon. Great to have you back. Thanks. It's good to be here. And I love, I'm starting to substitute cauliflower for so many things. Mm -hmm. And that has gotten to be really popular and I came across this recipe on Pinterest and some versions of it a few weeks ago and thought I just love it because it lets you have really good flavorful Italian food and not spend all your carbs on your pasta. So you can have some garlic bread or if you have a little dessert or if you're just trying to reduce carbs, it lets you have a meal that feels rich and is tasty yes. and has flavor. Um, so what I have here is a mixture of eight ounces of Italian sausage and eight ounces of ground beef. And that way we get the taste of that sausage, but a little bit healthier fats by not having all of that high fat meat. I'm gonna stir in a little bit of um, tomato paste there's some onions and garlic in there as well. We'll throw in a can of no added salt diced tomatoes just to make sure we get all of our vegetables. Um, and then we can just stir in a jar of spaghetti sauce. Um, it is worth looking at the labels on spaghetti sauce that some have a lot of sugar added to them. So you can compare just side by side. Um, and it's great, the new nutrition labels actually say grams of added sugar so you can compare product to product side by side. Okay. Um, and if we stir this in, I'll tell you when I do this at home, it's a one dish meal. This all happens in the skillet. I put the cauliflower in the pot and then there's less dishes. Oh, that's <laughs> another perfect. bonus. Yes, and we love that especially during yeah. the summertime. So if you want to add our cauliflower here, okay. we'll ahead. just stir it and all in. And you steamed that ahead of yes, time? Yes, yes. Okay. I steamed the cauliflower for about five minutes so it's al dente Ooh, but not okay. mushy. Got it. Um, I think I haven't tried but you could probably do this with some frozen cauliflower just lightly steamed okay and just as simple as that we'll slide it into the big dish okay um, this is a great make-ahead recipe um, and of course like all Italian food and tomato sauces and spices it gets better the longer it sits absolutely so I don't think the kids would even notice the difference too yeah. you've got that chunks that look just like the yeah. pasta <laughs> yeah that's great. great so we can top that with some ricotta cheese some uh, mozzarella cheese. Okay. Time for that. And yeah. Then we'll just put some dabs on here. You can layer that in. I just put lots on top because I like a nice cheesy top. Yeah. Um, I've got about a cup of ricotta cheese here. Okay. And we can sprinkle a little mozzarella. And you actually have the finished product in the oven, I so we're sure going to pull do. that out real yeah. quick because we Let's are just do a about little out of swamp. time. And we're going to share this recipe on our website as well, yeah. wjhl.com. Oh, that and looks there delicious. There we have. So we can put that on a plate with some salad and some garlic bread and have a really delicious um, Italian meal. And without the pasta and the carbs. Right. I this love has it. about 22 grams of carbohydrate for one eighth of the recipe. So that's very, very reasonable compared to about 45 to 60 of a regular baked ziti. All right, Sandra, thank you so, so much. Thank you. Great stuff. Can't wait to dig in. Grab, yeah. grab a fork. We'll be right back.